Hey guys, the Tell Talker here and welcome back to another video. Here's a funny story, I had a vacation last Friday when my parents had to go to KL to meet up with my sisters. I went to Nando's with my brother, but then I saw a computer store that was on the second floor. After I ordered my food, I decided to go and check it out. I took a peek at every stuff they have, but then I decided to YOLO it and bought an SSD using my A5 2016 repair savings. I have regrets for that. What kind of SSD I bought? Well, the title already find out. So here it is. Sorry for the voiceover because I got jet lag in the unedited video. Anyway, this is the ADATA SU650 120GB SSD. Yeah, I should have bought a 240GB SSD but eh, can't waste my old phone repair savings anymore just to get 240GB version but I'll stick with it till I can get bigger SSD. On the front, it's just a box standard packaging that was often seen on many budget SSDs from trusted brands. On the back, there's some stuff related to SSD and a QR code to download migration software. I think that's kinda cool. I bought it for 125 ringgit, which is decent for a budget SSD, at least for me. Otherwise, I'm gonna unbox it and I ended up ripping the packaging. Upon unwrapping the package, it comes with the SSD and nothing extra included in the box. Not gonna lie, the SSD looks really nice despite that it's made out of plastic. Wait a minute, plastic? Metal? I kinda confused which one, it, but it does feel like it's plastic to me. With that out of the way, it's time to put the SSD in. The laptop that I'm gonna put the SSD in is this behemoth with 14 inch panel. This is my beloved ASUS ht 5 VJ laptop that I used to make about box closing style videos back in the day. This is now my main again but not my much despite of how small the drive was. Important step is to remove the battery and disconnect the power source just for safety reasons. Swapping the 2.5 inch drive on an ASUS A55, K55, A45 or K45 series laptops are very simple. All you have to do is to unscrew these two screws that secures the bottom panel and then once those are out, you can slide it out. Easy. Undo the two screws which I don't have it screwed in and slide the caddy out of here and you get access to the hard drive. Out with the old and slow drive. In with the new and faster drive. Once you've done that, you can now put it back together. Plug it in, fire it up, and spam multiple keys that went into the boot menu, either escape or F12. You'll see that your SSD has been detected. You can simply clone your Windows install from your hard drive to an SSD if you haven't done the upgrade yet. Or you can just clean install that way, which doesn't take too long compared with the hard drive. From a long time hard drive user, I can say that SSD does make a difference over the hard drive in terms of boot up time and launch time on several programs I use. This is why I'm not going back using hard drive as a boot drive ever again. Looking at crystal disk mark on a 500GB 5400RPM Samsung hard drive Wait 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 that Don't judge me I use the crystal disk mark Shizuka edition Looking at crystal disk mark on a 500GB 5400RPM Samsung hard drive that was used in the same machine before Look at that read and write speeds 
It's so terrible. Comparing with 120 gigabyte A data SU650 SSD, this is definitely a breeze. Of course, everyone is gonna complain at me that I use different Windows versions, but that doesn't matter since SSD is miles better than hard drive anyway. I'm gonna say that upgrading from hard drive to SSD is definitely worth it nowadays. I have regrets wasting my old phone repair savings because the amount of money was sufficient to restore my old phone back to shape, and now I have a bit less than that after buying it. I have no regrets at the same time since I can't stand using hard drive as a boot drive. Whenever I want to buy a new laptop or build my new computer, I always opt for an SSD as a boot drive instead of hard drive. With that said, that's gonna be a wrap up of this video. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out new videos like this. The Tail Taku signing out. Catch y'all later. Peace.